My name is not really important. And honestly, who cares? Our names are not who we are, so why is it the first thing that we always share? I'm going to try something new, and I promise I'm not wasting your time. Tara, don't dock me any marks, but this three-minute intro speech is actually going to rhyme. <laughs> See, I want to tell you about the things that make my heart race and the things that make me scared. And if I speak like I'm rapping, those tender bits about myself are a little bit easier to share. Plato said, if you want to get to know somebody, invite them to play. But even if I'm playing, I promise I'm only keeping the demons at bay. See, since the day my mom saw my dad and tossed a smile in his direction, I've had trouble fitting in evidenced by my mom's cesarean section. He <laughs> shot up like a weed, my grandmother's vocal cords and jaw said. But her assessment was a little too close to home because like a weed, I too felt I wasn't wanted. In school, the hallways and the classrooms and even the desks that I would sit in were where I realized that maybe I just don't fit in. High school was awesome. Just kidding. It was pure hatred. <laughs> there was no romance. There was no football games. There was no musical numbers like the lives of the Glee kids. Okay, I get it. High school wasn't a good fit. Feel free to roll your eyes, because seriously, who gives a care? <laughs> But in the trenches of high school, I learned that if I didn't fit, that I would just hide. So I thought maybe I could learn to fit if I went inside. Okay, back to my introduction. Sorry, I just got distracted. See, even though I'm a business student, if there's an opportunity for creative writing, I can't help but attack it. So who am I if not my name and not my vocation? Well, I'm a mature student. I'm an ex-Mormon, and I'm part of the delegation of the square pegs and the round holes, the people that knew life could be really, really big, and that success isn't measured by barrels or crops or your position on an oil rig. See, I've got this weird theory where my name on the certificate says medicine hat, but I was born into a body that was meant to experience a little bit more than that, more than the tigers and the mavericks and the world's tallest teepee, and if I'm being completely honest, I think I'm meant for a little bit more than MHC. Not that I mind the institution, I am just so sick of school. My degree's less than a year away, so excuse me if I drool. So, who am I? Everybody has a me, so what is it? Maybe it's better to define myself by the places that I don't fit. So, I'll pick and choose where I fit. And I'll be the best me, and in about 90 years, hopefully I'll have a kick-ass epitaph that reads, Here lies David Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs>